Hey guys, Alex Kahn here with Prince of Macedon Vlogs and we're at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando for the Festival of Speed 2021. And uh, this Festival of Speed has all kinds of exotics, muscle cars, and classics. And I myself, I definitely want to see the, the Aspark Al up close and I also want to see the, the McLaren Elva. But again, you can see there's all kinds of cars that I definitely want to check out too and uh, we'll try to get as many as we can in this short video. Hey guys, I'm standing in front of the Aspark Al. This is the fastest accelerating production car in existence. It goes zero to 60 in 1.7 seconds. It is that fast. And apparently each wheel has a motor. So there's four motors all together on this car. And this whole body is carbon fiber. The structure that it's built upon is carbon fiber. But uh, inside there is a stainless steel uh, support structure for the roof. Um, as we come around to the uh, back here, you have an active rear spoiler, which, uh, which activates at 93 miles per hour. So uh, yeah, this car is crazy. This is the only one currently in the United States, but they, they plan to produce 50 of these worldwide eventually. And um, yeah, this has apparently a horsepower of 2000. So this, this thing is a beast and it's all electric. It's got a radius of uh, 280 miles, I believe. And the recharge time is takes about 80 minutes to get a full charge out of it. I found the McLaren section and there are several cars here that I want to I want to look at up close. So let's go to the McLarens. I'm standing next to the McLaren Elva, one of the showcase cars featured at the Festival of Speed here. And they only produced 249 of these units. As you can see, it's an open top car, mid engine uh, car, and it's apparently the lightest car McLaren has ever produced. And uh, it's got a really cool uh, air management flow system uh, where the air is designed to go through the nose, up the splitter, and then up here, McLaren called this the, the oasis of calm. So the passenger and the driver are, are protected even though there's no windshield right there. And uh, as you get around to the back here, you got an active uh, uh, spoiler back here, which only activates at a certain speed. And this is a very beautiful car. They only produced 249 of these uh, McLaren Elvas. And by the way, Elva in French means she goes. So this car is meant to go. Hey guys, I'm standing right next to the, uh, the McLaren Senna LM. And uh, this is limited to only 20 units worldwide, but they only produce five for the United States. And this is one of them. This orange color is very unique to the LM. It pays homage to the Formula One GTR um, that won in 95. And uh, this engine is a 4.0 liter uh, uh, twin turbo engine capable of 814 uh, horsepower that matches the, the GTR. So very beautiful car. Again, extremely limited. This is only one car out of five in the United States. Right here is the McLaren Speedtail. Very amazing looking car. And it's a hybrid sports car. Uh, the front wheels have this really cool uh, carbon fiber uh, static covers to reduce uh, drag. And um, also, if you'll notice, there's no side mirrors. For the side mirrors, it uses these uh, HD cameras that pop out that pops out when it's driving. And uh, what's really cool is the the driver's seat is located more in the center area to uh, increase visibility. All right, guys, they also have a big Porsche Porsche section. Uh, Porsche South Orlando is here in full force. They have a Taycan. Uh, they have a, a GT2 RS, uh, Caymans. Uh, they got tons of Porsches here. All right, here's a sweet miscellaneous section. Uh, we have Bentleys, we have Rolls Royce, and we have Karma. All right, guys, taking a little break from the, uh, from the car show. And um, yeah, it's got a little burger from the uh, concession stand. And uh, yeah, there's so many uh, great cars to, to look at today. Um, and then the exotics today, man, there's a great selection of exotics. I'm a huge fan of the McLaren display that they have right now. They didn't have the, the GTR, but they did have the, uh, the, the other things like the Elva and the, the LM. Those are very beautiful cars to look at. And also the, uh, the, the Speedtail. Uh, I, I didn't know that was going to be there, so that really surprised me. Oh, see the motor? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, here is the BMW i8. It kind of reminds me of the i8 scene in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, which uh, Tom Cruise drove. So it is, a, it is a hybrid car, but look at that aggressive look to it. We're looking at the Buick uh, GNX, which is the, the Grand National Experimental. It is not a Grand National though. You can tell uh, visually by looking at the, the front fender uh, vents up here. 
And then also the the GNX has these uh, giant uh, flares by the wheels to cover up the the bigger wheels that the GNX has. Uh, but the engine is a 3.8 liter uh, V6 engine capable of 300 horsepower. And apparently in 87, they only made 547 of, of this type of car. Um, I guess another way to tell if this is a GNX is you can tell by the center of the wheel. Well, not on this one, but there's uh, GNX badgings all over this. All right, guys, we are wrapping up here at the Festival of Speed Orlando, and it's been a pretty good car show. They've had about 150 to 200 exotics, muscle cars, and classics. Everything from Pontiac GTOs to Ferraris, Lamborghinis, uh, McLarens. They had a lot of things out here. Um, and it's gotten a lot, lot more busier than, than when the day started. And they start bringing, bringing in even more cars to see. It's a very, very great thing. Obviously, the highlights for me were the, uh, were the Aspark Owl. That was great to see. And also the McLaren uh, Elva. But again, all these other cars are showstoppers. If you saw them driving down the street, you would stop where you are and just stare at them. Very, uh, very great selection this year.